The race for the PacWest Fall 2011 Championships began in late October with the PacWest Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships in Goodyear, Arizona. Ten schools sent runners into the conference women's championships, which were run over a five-kilometer course in the deserty confines of Estrella Mountain Regional Park just outside of Phoenix. BYU-Hawaii was the defending women's champ, having earned a spot in the nationals a year before. But this year, California Baptist was tabbed as the team to beat, and the Lancer runners raced to near the front of the pack. Individually, Dixie State's Rachel Young took the lead and increased it throughout the meet. A veritable newcomer to the sport, Young never ran cross country in high school, but blazed to the finish line at a time of 17 minutes, 52 seconds, finishing 26 seconds ahead of runner-up Lacey Kraut of BYU-Hawaii. The top team in the standings turned out to be California Baptist University. The Lancers won the crown by finishing with five runners in the top eight. BYU Hawaii was second as a team, with host Grand Canyon third. The story of the men's race really dated back to several weeks earlier in San Francisco, where Academy of Arts Amos Maru set off on a mission to win another conference title, and he blazed to a personal record over the beautiful course in Golden Gate Park. At the time, the two-time defending conference champion said his goal was to peak once again for the PacWest Championships. Yeah, I felt like Carl Buck is coming in and uh, they look really good, so I want to working extra hard. I really want to keep my titles, you know. I've been winning like two years in a row, so I'm not going to give this up. You know, I'm going for it. So when it came time to run in the desert in the PacWest Championships at the end of October, Maru was more than ready. Over the eight-kilometer course, the senior from Kenya broadened his lead throughout, and he ended up winning the race by a comfortable margin with a championship time of 24 minutes, 4 seconds. Grand Canyon's Kip Mutai was runner-up, with HPU's Danny Malley finishing third. In the men's team competition, California Baptist was the winner, with Academy of Art finishing as runner-up and defending champion BYU-Hawaii third. Now, the Lancers won not one, not two, but three conference titles on that late October Saturday, as they also wrapped up the PacWest women's soccer title that day. No wonder the California Baptist head coach, Kristen St. Clair, told us right before the beginning of the season how she was looking forward to facing off against new competition in the PacWest. The Pac West is a great conference. It's one of the best in the NCAA Division II, and we're excited for the great competition and the opportunity to, to travel and play the great competition in a couple different states. And we're very excited for the quality of the schools that are in this conference as well. So it's, a, it's a good step up for us. The Lancers won the conference title in a closely contested race to the finish. But since the school is going through the membership process, they would have to wait for a trip to the NCAA tournament. The battle for that spot was intense as defending conference champion BYU-Hawaii was also in the hunt for the title and a regional berth until the final kicks of the season. But the Seasiders were turned away after Grand Canyon came on strong and won the conference automatic bid tiebreaker by the slimmest of margins. It was Grand Canyon's first ever trip to the Women's Soccer Regional Championships. Here's the way the race ended with California Baptist in first place, followed by Grand Canyon, BYU-Hawaii, HPU, and Notre Dame de Demure in the first five spots in the standings. The second five was Dixie State in sixth place, followed by Hawaii Hilo, Academy of Art, Dominican, and Chaminade. The men's soccer title chase was every bit as heated and actually came down to a tie for the title. California Baptist claimed another crown this one a co-championship as they finished the regular season with an identical record as Hawaii Pacific. The Lancers actually beat the Sea Warriors in their only matchup of the season, but ended the year with an identical final record. For HPU, a co-championship was a tremendous accomplishment, especially since they had finished as the league runner-up the last three years, and they celebrated their share of the title with a special chant after the season-ending win at BYU-Hawaii.
You know, we've come to the last day with a chance to win it, but we, we have needed help every time on the last day. And this year, it was finally the last game, and, and we controlled our own destiny, and, and the gods are smiling on us. The clouds opened up, and, and we did it finally. It feels great. The fall season also saw great efforts from other teams, too. Grand Canyon was in the mix for the title and a regional berth after another outstanding season. But unlike last year, when they went all the way to the regional finals, this time the Antelopes fell just a little bit short. In fact, this tie against BYU-Hawaii in midseason turned out to be the difference between a co-championship and a third-place finish. And there were many exciting finishes, like this one in the near darkness in Belmont, California, where Academy of Art won a thrilling overtime affair over arch-rival Notre Dame de Demure. The Urban Knights celebrated almost like they had won the World Cup title, showing just how much victories mean in the Pac West. Here's how the men's soccer race finished, with HPU and California Baptist tied for the title, Grand Canyon a close third, then Notre Dame de Demure, and Dixie State. The second five was BYU-Hawaii, followed by Academy of Art, Dominican, Hawaii Hilo, and Shamana. In the PacWest women's volleyball season, the word unprecedented has to be used. Unprecedented because the league would send three teams to the NCAA tournament for the first time in recent history. And for a while, had an unprecedented four teams in the West regional rankings. One of those teams was Hawaii Pacific, who handed eventual champion BYU-Hawaii their only loss of the conference season in the opening match of the PacWest play. If you, like, you have to be at the practices, you have to see how hard we work. Like, every day, every single girl comes into the gym, we've had me who says, everybody has to be here, our mindset has to be here, and we all agreed, like, if we're not here, then we don't, don't come to practice. Everybody comes in, come to the games, come to practices, we put it all out, like, it's just, that's my team, and I'm so excited that we can all be part of it, and everybody just works together, and that's what makes a win, basically. After that match, BYU-Hawaii never lost another match as they went unscathed through the rest of a very impressive Pac-West season. The Seasiders won 15 consecutive matches and won the Pac-West Conference title with an impressive mark of 15-1. Second place went to Grand Canyon University, who finished very strong. In fact, the Antelopes went on a record run in the late going and claimed a berth in the NCAA Regionals for the first time ever. The third team to land a spot at the NCAA Tournament was Hawaii Hilo. The Lady Vulcans finished in a tie for third and earned a trip to the Regionals in San Bernardino. Other sterling efforts were turned in this year by the newcomers, California Baptist, as the Lancers tied UH Hilo for third place in the standings. Ryan McGuire, who had previously been named the NAIA Coach of the Year, noted just how strong the Pac West and the NCAA Division II was. It's fun with the different universities because I got to get to the other coaches. You know, I think being in the former conference as long as I did, I, I knew when they were calling timeouts, I knew what they did, I, I knew which each team's defense was versus different hitters and different things. So, you know, I think now I've got to discover new trends to help, help my team be a little bit better too. In an unprecedented year for winning teams, Dixie State also finished the year with a winning record, and the Pac West had six teams with overall winning marks. The top five in the standings were conference champ BYU Hawaii, followed by runner up Grand Canyon, a third place tie between California Baptist and UH Hilo, and HPU finishing fifth. Dixie State headed up the next five, followed by Academy of Art, Notre Dame de Demir, Dominican, and Shamana. Overall, it was a great fall sports season for the Pac West.